Melvin here. I'm going to dig up these rhizomes and show you what I have in this ginger pot. So as you know, this series began with me cutting half of a ginger rhizome from the supermarket into six pieces, and three of them ended up growing. Although I think originally, um, you know, four of them were destined to grow, but I lost a small one. So anyway, this series is long in the tooth, and it's gone on for too long. Um, you know, this series is actually one of my most popular, and I think people are still watching these updates, although it's always a fraction of the viewership of the original first three episodes. So I'm going to take this channel in a new direction and make it more streamlined. I'm just going to have the first one to three episodes at most, and just focus on the germination or the breaking of dormancy from tubers, etc., because that's what people really want to watch. The beginning, um, you know, plants like animals are cuter when they're babies. And, you know, people just don't want to watch, uh, you know, maybe 60 episodes or whatnot of, you know, what's largely the same thing with just more growth or setbacks. Even though I think there was a lot of troubleshooting value in what I did. So this is a Drake, and it got a late start. It's smaller than the others. And right now I'm digging up Big Bertha. So Big Bertha has this long tap root, so to speak, that goes to the bottom, even though all the soil feels fairly wet to me. Um, but, it, you know, it's a sandy mixture. It's not sopping wet anywhere. It won't cause root rot. But that's just the nature of this plant. You know, it seems to want to go down to get a better water source. So that's not a whole lot of rhizome mass. Um, this series... You know, I had a lot of fun growing ginger, and my only, you know, complaint is that it grows so slow. It grows at a glacial pace, so uh, I'm sure some of you who have a backyard or a proper farm to grow this in will have seen much better results over the same period of time. But, you know, this is what I had to work with. The uh, first year was just full of infestations, problems, and setbacks, and the second year... I kept everything indoors and I used uh, LED lights for photosynthesis. So this is Sully here and uh, Sully got a bit of a head start. There's, you know, some rhizome mass, but you know, it's not a whole lot. Basically make a, a pot of chicken soup or something and then you use that up. So that's basically it. And getting back to what I was saying about my channel, you know, there are landmark videos, uh, cute animal videos. Uh, you know, probably ease up on the more obscure hiking trails and um, things like that. Uh, you know, native Southern California plant species. You know, those are very esoteric and not many people will watch. have to keep viewership high if, you know, the channel has a lot of videos interspersed between the popular ones that... Uh, nobody watches that kind of damages uh, the attraction of traffic and whatnot so um, thank you for watching my ginger series and I hope you'll continue to watch my channel